Energy systems are confronted with major challenges. The urgency to identify and develop adequate and timely solutions is justified by the alarming trends in increasing global energy demand, the finite nature of fossil fuel reserves, security of supply, fuel poverty, air quality, and of course the need to dramatically curb greenhouse gas emissions. The EU is also facing another challenge, the huge amount of waste or secondary energy that is produced but not captured and utilised for heating purposes. There is actually enough waste heat produced in the EU to heat its entire building stock, yet there is no distribution network in place to transport it from where it is produced to where it is needed. District heating systems can help us address these two challenges, energy demand and wasted heat. District heating is a system based on the idea that it is smarter to heat many buildings using a shared heat source than for each building to have its own. This solution is more efficient, it is cheaper, and it decreases the amount of environmentally hazardous emissions that are released. A district heating or cooling system is a network of insulated pipes that are used to distribute heat or cooling in the form of hot water, steam or chilled water. The heat or cooling is transported from the point where it is generated to houses, apartments, schools, hospitals, offices, stores, companies and other recipients in the city. This means that individual homes and businesses do not need to generate their own heat on site. Any heat source can be connected to the network. For instance, waste heat from waste incineration, industrial processes, underground tube networks and renewable technologies. In the seventh framework programme, the EU has recognised the potential for district heating systems to be a sustainable solution to the challenge of heating buildings efficiently. They chose the Celsius project to demonstrate smart district heating technologies and transfer information, knowledge and expertise to cities across Europe. The Celsius project has brought together five cities, Gothenburg, Cologne, Genoa, London and Rotterdam, to form a consortium of 20 partner organisations from municipalities, energy and utility companies and academia. The Celsius project demonstrates innovation in a range of areas. For example, new technologies, the deployment of existing technologies, new investment models and gaining social acceptance. This is all aimed at helping new Celsius cities reduce their primary energy consumption. A Celsius city aspires to a circular energy economy. The idea of closing the loop on the city's energy system is about reducing the amount of energy being imported into the city to meet its needs. It does this by reducing the overall energy demand in the city, maximising the amount of urban waste heat that is captured and utilised, and finally, increasing the amount of energy that is generated within the city. This is all aimed at minimising the amount of waste energy that flows out of the city. The benefits of a Celsius approach are energy efficient districts through cascading and reusing sources of heat that are generated within the city, secure and resilient energy supply. With decreased needs to import energy from outside, a city can insulate itself more from inherent variations in availability and cost within the global energy markets. Affordable heat. With greater control over fuel costs, a city can, to some degree, protect their customers from inevitable market fluctuations observed in the energy retail market that result in rising fuel prices. Low carbon heat. Using sources of low and zero carbon energy, as well as waste heat, a city can supply its customers with low carbon heat. By using district heating, the EU has estimated the possibility of saving an extra 400 million tonnes of CO2 yearly. Improved air quality. Using large energy generating plants with a more complete combustion than individual burners will reduce the related emissions that impact on air quality. Social acceptance. Create recognition within the political and civil society of the important role that intelligent heating and cooling systems provide to their customers and the city's wider energy system. Competitive economy. These intelligent heating and cooling systems will contribute to the development of a city-wide infrastructure. This will allow the development of an energy system capable of generating and supplying affordable, low-carbon energy to residential and business customers across the city. 
In turn, the city and its businesses will be more competitive in a global marketplace that is making an active transition to a low-carbon economy. Imagine a competitive, livable and resource-efficient city. Imagine a smart energy city with intelligent heating and cooling solutions. This is your city, a Celsius city. This support for Celsius cities will be broadly based around the following four offerings. Demonstrators, Celsius toolbox, specialist workshops and expert group. Together, these offerings will help to establish and develop district heating and cooling systems in cities across Europe. So, come join us.